Good day, it's Tony Fortunato from The Technology Firm. Today we're going to take a look at a little application that I use on Android devices, my phone and my tablet of the sort, and it's called the Wi-Fi Connection Manager. And what I'm going to do is just drag over a screenshot of Google Play. That's where it is. I'll put the link into the notes so you can go just click on it and go get it yourself. It's a free app and it's a Wi-Fi manager and I want to just spend a few seconds explaining what it does and what's fairly unique about it. Uh, when you first run it, obviously it goes finds all your access points. Uh, that part isn't all that thrilling. Uh, I do like the fact that it gives you the RSSI here, these negative values, uh, as well as the pretty little bars. Uh, what it can do, which is kind of nice, the MAC address here, the first three bytes is not being resolved uh, to the OUI or manufacturer's name. And you can simply go to the settings and change that. So we'll go to settings here and you'll see right here it says display device company in list. And as soon as I click that, now it'll say Cisco. There you go. Um, just more cosmetics than anything. But here's the really cool part. I'm going to go back to settings for a moment. And when I go to settings, right at the very bottom, there's uh, two options that I'm going to spend a little time with. First is switch signal threshold. Switch signal threshold. Say that 10 times. When the signal level is below negative 75, when that means is between negative 75 and negative 100, which is obviously 100 being weak and zero being strong. So it says, hey, when that signal gets to that threshold, I'm going to drop off this access point and go find the next one on my list. And I'll show you where that is in a moment. Um, this value is changeable and settable by you, the human. I've left it on 75. That value works pretty good here in my office, so I'm going to leave that alone. And then right beneath it is the switch time threshold. And what happens there is this is the second value it uses in that algorithm where it says my value, my signal is weak. I'm going to wait a certain amount of time before I give up on that access point because this may be temporary. Tony may be just walking around or something. So this is kind of a delay. So I put a 30 second delay on that before it decides to go to the other access point. So it's not constantly flipping around as I'm just walking around the office. So those two values work great on, on a more, I guess, um, kind of humorous note. It says here, click to hide ads, and ads will be hidden once clicked. So I click that box, and unfortunately, the ads are still there. So that's kind of the only thing that uh, doesn't seem to work all that great. Other than that, I like it a lot. And oh, the last thing. When you do decide to flip from access point to access point, there's an option here to change or arrange your network priority. Now, this is going to list all the access point it currently hears and you can just move these around so if I wanted to link this after this Tom WEP network I just simply move them around and this is the order in which it will find them so if two access points have a relatively similar signal strength it'll pick the first one on that list that's it hope that helps have a good day bye for now